after watching this episode, all I can say is, <laughs> I'm going to miss this show so much. So damn much. I'm not crying, guys. I got you. Even I'm crying with this video. Gotcha, because it'll be embarrassing. Well, up, guys? This is the pitch I can find for this episode. Today, I'm going to review the final episode of Starve's Evil. All the episodes, season one to three, building up all to this. So... Basically, the plot is for Cleed. It's basically the plot is we have Star Butterfly and Marco. This takes place after the uh, previous episode left off. Basically, she wants, she hates, she now hates magic. She wants to destroy magic, all that stuff, so she can end up with Marco and that stuff. And, and um, and it's the end game, and that's how I can describe it. It's, I don't want to give away spoilers, guys, because um, just to let you guys know, well, I can tell if you guys, I can explain you some bit of it in this episode, but. That's how I can describe you guys. It's pretty much Star Wars Evil Endgame. That's how I can describe it. I'm joking, guys. It's you know what I mean. Well, guys, I can't believe it. I've watched this episode yesterday morning on YouTube. One thing on this episode, I think it's a very satisfying and nice ending to the show. But honestly, say this, guys, I have been depressed. For hours yesterday after watching this episode. Because this is the very final episode of the show. The story of this episode was pretty good. And I do like... Yeah, this, yeah, the story was good. I do like the episode. And he has some return characters of this of the episode. And yeah, the characters are good in this episode. I do like... I mean, there's one scene when, when Stubble whispered and destroyed the magic. And if you've seen one of the clips... Star Butterfly destroyed magic and she, and she had where the hearts. She doesn't has it anymore. So she has no hearts in the cheek. So that's kind of strange. We've never seen Star Butterfly without cheeks before. So yeah. And um, yeah, we got some. As I can describe it, because. But I would say it is a very good end to the, to the series. And then when Star Butterfly ran to the uh, Marco thing and see each other. Many people complain and say it was a good ending. People say they end on the cliffhanger and all that stuff. People wanted a season five. I actually wanted a season five, but sadly, we're never gonna get a season five of the show. But I would love to see a season five or a movie, but nope, it's never going to happen. But the best thing about this episode is Mia got defeated. Thank God she deserved to get defeated. Honestly, I think Mia is officially will become is becoming my second worst character of the show now. Second being Toffee, but now it's off. Toffee is now my third worst character of the show. He's now officially Mina as my second worst character of the show. Yeah, thank God me got defeated. And there is some vibes of Avengers Infinity War and, uh, and Avengers Endgame. There is some, I have some Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame vibes uh, while watching this episode. There is some vibes that reminds me of Endgame and Infinity War, which... Has the creator even wa watched Infinity War and Endgame while making this episode? It's... Uh, it's just like that, but on the bad, I saw Ludo in the final episode. He's not the villain anymore. He's good now. There's one. There's one bit when Star's like when Ludo's like, "Hey, Star, want to play basketball?" And he ran and she waved at waved at Star. So that means Ludo is now officially a good guy now. Well, my only issue is the the way how they ended the series. They could have ended with a kiss with Marco and Star kiss, but on that, I know I'm giving a little bit of spoilers, but that's the issues. But on that, this was a satisfying ending to the show. Overall, I give this episode a nine and a ten out of ten. It was a lovely ending to the to the to the series, guys. I can't believe it. This might be the last time I'm going to talk about this show on my channel. This might be because I'm going to miss this show so damn much. Why has to end? Screw you, Teen Titans Go for still running. There has to be a show that that can replace the show. Well, what could it be?
replacement for Star Evil. Woo! Yeah, that's right, guys. The new show, Amphibia. If you guys remember back in, back in last year, I did a reaction trailer to the, the intro. It's coming out on June 17th, so... Looks like I found my replacement for Star Evil ending. Before I end this video, guys, just to let you know, the, that new the intro I showed called Amphibia. I did try reaction last year. It looks amazing. I think this is going to make a, a great replacement for Star Evil. Well... Before I end this video, the creators, the writing, the crew, all can I say about Star Evil is thank you for the four years of the show. Thank you for everything. We're going to miss you, Star Butterfly. We're going to miss you, Marco. We're going to miss you, Marco's parents. We're going to miss you, Moon Butterfly. We're going to miss you, all the characters. We're not going to miss you, Jeremy, because you suck. he sucks. We're gonna, I'm going to miss everyone except for Jeremy, Toffee, and Mina Lotberry. But all I'm going to say is, guys, the crew, thank you for everything about this show. I had a blast. It has been a ride. But honestly, what a ride this show has been. Thank you guys for watching. We're going to miss you, Star. Goodbye.